sitting here listening to y'all talk about drug pricing and how this is going to help. Listen, no one, everyone here collectively doesn't understand drug pricing as well as I do. I have lived it. I've practiced it. For 42 years, I've practiced pharmacy. And you're missing the point here. It's not the drug manufacturers. It's the PBMs, the pharmacy benefit managers, the middlemen. They're the ones that are making the, the profits here. And who owns the PBMs? The insurance companies. That's who owns it. Why is the FTC undertaking a study right now as we speak to, to, to look at the vertical integration that exists in drug pricing now? where the insurance company owns the PBM and owns the pharmacy. They're going to make money along the way. The Berkeley Research Group just did a study about three months ago that showed that only 37% of the price of a prescription drug goes to the pharmaceutical manufacturer. The rest of it, where does that go? The 63%? It goes to the PBM. They get rebates. Do they pass them on to the customers? No, they don't pass them on to the customers. They keep them. And who is the PBM? It's the insurance company. And what are we doing here? Are we doing here? You're simply pumping up the insurance companies. That's why I've got legislation. And, and look, nobody knows better than I do. I was on the other side of the counter for 42 years. I was the one who had to go tell people how much their prescription was going to cost them. I was the one who had to watch them make a decision, the senior citizens make a decision between getting groceries or getting drugs. I was the one that watched a mother in tears call a family member trying to get money to pay for her antibiotic for her child. That was me. I was the one on the other side of the counter. I know all too well how bad of a problem this is. I also know all too well how much research and development means. Let me tell you, folks, I started practicing pharmacy in 1980. And when I was practicing, I started practicing in 1980. If you were diagnosed with hepatitis C, you were going to die. You were going to die if you were, hep if you were diagnosed with hepatitis C. Today, we can cure it with a pill. One pill, we can cure it. How phenomenal is that? And what's that a result of? The research and development. Now, do pharmaceutical manufacturers need to do a better job with their pricing? Yes, they do. There's no question about that. But I'm telling you, you're missing the point here. It's not just them. It's primarily the PBMs. How long have I been preaching that for eight years since I've been in Congress? Eight years. It, 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 you got to have transparency in the drug pricing chain. These PBMs are keeping their profits. They're keeping those rebates. They're the ones who are holding the drug companies hostage and saying, if you want to get on our formulary, you, you give me a rebate. That's the way you're going to get on our formulary. You go to the doctor and you get diagnosed with high blood pressure, and they're going to tell you, your insurance company is going to tell you, this is the drug that you can use for high blood pressure. I don't care about the side effect profile that you have. I, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that we're getting the biggest rebate right here. And therefore, that's what you're going to get. That's the drug you're going to get because it's on our formulary. Hey, if you want to pay more, that's fine. But if you're going to pay this copay, this is what you're going to get. Because I'm getting the biggest rebate from them. Look, I, I've got a, a, an amendment I'd like to talk about. The biopharmaceutical companies, they bring cures to patients. Uh, Mr. We Carter, Mr. Cure. Carter we're, we're not at the amend amendment stage. You can testify after this panel about your amendment. But this is a okay. question and answers the opening panel. So hey, keep railing then. That's fine. Uh, all right. Well, uh, well, I thank you, Mr. Carter, and I appreciate that. And I think I think that your 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 discussion about about the PBMs um, and and the input there uh, points out once again that if the bill had um, really been any kind had really any kind of discussion. And input from um, from all of the members, or or more of the members, that it certainly would have been an improved bill, and you would have addressed some of those things. And and just once again, disappointing that we don't um, follow regular order and and do the kinds of things to get the input from all the sides and all of the input that we should when we are um, when we're putting together legislation. 
And with that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair, I yield back. Uh, 